Hey everybody, welcome to the Outlet Podcast. My name's Gazy, and you are watching How I Met Her Anniversary Edition. Anniversary Edition! Oh snap! Okay, so what happened was um, like three days, two days ago, two days ago, um, me and my wife celebrated two years that we are married. Yeah, we're celebrating two years that we've been married together. Uh, we've been together for five years, like dating and all that stuff for three years, but then married for two. Um, when I say dating and all that stuff, like we didn't we didn't live together or anything. But you know, we waited till we got married and lived together at that point, two years. So I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. It was pretty cool. We went out for dinner. Um, I don't know. We went to this place, high end, high scale, and I thought like they had something like ribless, like uh, boneless ribs or something. And I was excited at first, but then man, I was so let down. That's the thing. You can't like okay, go to the places that you are that you know you're gonna enjoy. I went to this place, high end and all that stuff. I knew what I was ordering. Uh, I knew what I was ordering. Well, I kind of did. I guess that's what got me. I kind of knew what I was ordering, and then failure, man. My wife enjoyed her meal. She had this uh, like salmon on a wooden plank, but man, my thing sucked. Ah, it's, I mean, I had a good. We had a good flatbread as an appetizer, but my actual meal stunk. So that let me down. Anyways, guys, um, that's one short story. Um, today. I want to entertain you guys with uh, something that happened during something we, uh, we call a leader's retreat. Um, much like in business, uh, there are retreats. And my wife, uh, the girl that I liked, my wife, uh, her at the time, she was the president of the Youth Society in the Southeast District of our church council. So she had a very important job. So what she uh, had organized was... She we called up. Uh, she called up a. Um, she called up a uh, a cabin esque area, and what we all did was well, uh, she called the cabin play area, got a couple preachers to come in to give us some exhortative messages and uh, some conference style stuff. That was cool. That was fun. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, we all learned and everything. But the thing was. I wasn't involved with her council. I was involved with her council, but I wasn't going to her church or anything. So um, I was friends with everybody that went, and she extended the invitation to me. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool that she did that. Um, uh, I think her her motive was that uh, I was a leader too. Uh, I don't know how, but uh, I was a leader too. So we all so we pack up and we go. And um, I brought my I brought my white truck, and it was in the it was in the woods. Really cool. There were spiders and junk, and the cabin was like all musky and dusty. But we cleaned it up uh, to the best of our ability. And uh, she got it was like a there were like two cabins, so one for the girls, one for the guys, and we all congregated in the one that was for the guys. Um, so what happened was she did this. Um, activity where we all wrote something down uh, anonymously and we had to um, we had to uh, respond like give a biblical answer to help that person out because it was a uh, spiritual inquiry that they were making you know some things are personal and you don't want to put your name to it especially if when it's talking about like things that you're going through you know temptations and stuff that are it's you know it's very personal so um, she, we were all asked to go to, go in prayer and search scriptures and see if uh, we can offer advice. And the idea was that um, to establish that mindset for doing that for every person that we meet in life, that we that we are biblically sound individuals, and we're, our relationship is so close to God that we, you know, when faced with someone's problems, we can be by their side and be able to aid them and give them support with the word of God and with our hearts, um, with our love. So yeah, I was like, all right, this is going to be awesome. So I got one, 
I got one, and I, I, I separated myself from everybody, um, and I just started to, like, pray. I was, like, praying, and then I started to, like, actually sing some songs, too, some, like, songs in private, and I started to cry. The Spirit of the Lord touched my heart, and I just opened, I just opened up, and I just was starting to cry and call, um, call out to God, and I felt His presence. It was amazing. It was really, it was uh, impact, impactful, impactful. Um, and yeah, so I was, the Lord uh, blessed me to give a response to this individual and I just moved on. I was like, okay, um, everything else was cool. Everything else was fun. And what all happened was um, a couple years later, I guess when we started dating, she told me about that day. And here, here is the Shaman Lama Lama. Here's the Shamalama line. Um, what happened was that she tells me about she tells me about that time, and I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "Do you remember when you were praying?" I was like, "Yeah, I remember when I was praying." She was like, "When you, when I saw you praying, I, I, I was trying to get people to come in, and I saw that you were praying, and it was at that moment that I told myself that I was in love with you, and I was like, "Oh snap!" I was like, you saw me, you saw me at that moment, and you said that you loved me, and you, she still made me, she still made me work. Oh my gosh, that was a trip, like, I still had to work for, oh, huh. yeah, it was crazy, like, she saw me, and I still had to go through the, the, the ringer for her, that was crazy, but you know what, it was worth it, it was worth it. You know, because now uh, I know what it's like. Um, I know what it's like for to have fought for something for a long time and to actually see results. So and, and you know, I came out winning. Not that winning is everything, but um, when it comes to her love and her actually wanting to love me, I came out winning. So that's a nice story. Wanted to share that, especially for uh, the anniversary edition of how I met her. So you guys take care. Have a great day. Everything. If you want to get in contact or watch or listen to any other uh, content that I provide, uh, go in the description below and you'll see uh, iTunes and all sorts of cool stuff. So thanks very much guys. God bless. Connect. Recharge.